They want from me like more money we come around. The more problems we say, I don't know what they want from me. Are we all? Are we all? Are, are we live? Me, 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 me. I wish you would have told me. Oh, we just went live. She's bad because of flavor. When you saw the tweet go out, because she saw the tweet. I did. Huh? Oh, I see it now. Never that. Move him side to side to keep your hands high. Chick on a cover of Fortune. Five double O. They want from me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Being ain't by in here, do we? Oh. Hey, me. I gotta. <laughs> Where's the mute? What problems do we say? Say. What's going on? What's going on? I know I gotta turn it off. I'm just trying to wait till the last Actually, minute. I can't hear it. Huh? You can't, can't really hear it. it? No, it's in the mics. It's so loud. <laughs> but the mic. But the I mics. know, but still. The mics are better than the ones we had. I don't know. What? Hey, Hando. Hey, Seminatrix. We have people in the room, babe. What's up? The more problem we see. I'm listening to Sirius XM. This station is the best station ever, and it's only on freaking line. It's called Fly. It plays all the rap and R&B from the 90s and 2000s. So I like hearing that. Oh, where's my? Oh. Hey, it's De La Soul. Yeah, um, we meant to cancel so it, you can't Hando. Get I mean, I like it a lot. I mean, how much is it a month, babe? Um, with the internet, it's like. This is the 17. <sighs> Which so, wasn't so much. But it's cheaper than buying um, um, songs, not songs, but um, Spotify yeah. for both of us. And we both can listen at the same time. I like it. Especially now that I have to fly. <laughs> oh, Brian Dunaway tweeted, uh, you can get the Borderlands 2 Psycho Pack for $7 DLC at Green Man Gaming. But that was three days ago. Nah, I don't worry about it. I pay full price for it. I uh, I don't like. Uh, yeah, I don't feel like dealing with Green Man Gaming. Oh uh, yeah. Because they're not because they're British, but it, it's a hassle to order from those guys. Mm, yeah. Dalai Lama. Uh, I so you remember this song? You remember when I was singing it, and you was like, "What's that from?" What this song? Yep. I was like, "Hey." How you doing? He's like, what is that from? <laughs> I heard it before. I, said, I haven't heard this before. I said, it's De La So. I haven't heard this one before. Oh, uh, you just didn't we know? We don't have enough shit you not. Nothing crazy happened, so. I know I'm missing something. Okay, let me look at this. Just, wick, 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 just look what? real quick before we start. Wick, 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 wick. How you doing? Sorry you can't get through. Don't you leave your name and your number and we'll get back to you. Hey, how, how you doing? And we'll get back to you. Go, go. Mm. 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 Oh, I didn't change mm. my password, mm. so that means I'm going to change it when I get in on Tuesday. 
At work? Yeah. I thought you changed it already. No. It's been two weeks. Oh. It. it was the last day of the day, so I got to change it when I get in on Tuesday. You probably won't be able to get in to change it. They'll probably lock you out. Oh, I call them. They, they give me you're going to have to call the help desk. You're going to have to call CSS. <laughs> They're going to be like, why the hell did you wait until the last minute? you would be like, I had surgery. No, that's not going to work. Uh, I'm looking at my uh, Twitter. That helps me fill in stuff sometimes. Oh, Oreo. Oh, we already talked about the Oreo. Because I remember you played it on the podcast. Oh, uh, yes. And we got it in Sam's head. Hey, that dude. That dude is here. Yep. It's Aaron. Oh. <laughs> hey, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody needs to stick to, stick to one handle. Yeah, it is his handle. Everywhere. <laughs> he should call himself that dude on the podcast. That way I would know it's him. What's going on, Aaron? And Aaron, don't worry. I forget everything. So she it's does. Not, That's what I'm here don't for. Feel bad. We we have a we have a system. <laughs> no, uh, no, you're fine. We we we're, uh, we have a system when um when we go see people. She gives me that look, and I'll say, and I'll say the name. I'll I'll bring their name up. Yeah, he's a um, he's a good person to have around, and and, and he doesn't get frustrated with my uh, inability to remember anything. So hey Sam, really nice. can you help us remember who Heather Helton? I I know who Heather Helton is, but I cannot remember the character that she played in Wow. I swear I cannot remember the, the character. That she played in WoW. Oh. Uh oh. That's my song. All right, babe. Okay. Uh, Bye, serious. I know, right? It was fun. Silk's got it going on. Silk has got it going on. All right, I'm turning it off. Bye, Silk. So, <laughs> freaking love serious. I think Fly is definitely my favorite song. I might have to spring for another month. I mean, I told you we're gonna keep it at least until um after uh Happy our last vacation. Days are here again. <sighs> oh, dogs are still outside. No, I thought I thought we we're gonna leave them out there. They didn't have any water? Yeah, let me go give it some water. Or oh, you can bring them in either way. I, I just thought you were going to leave them out there. I think I, that's why I was thinking you hadn't brought them in. <sighs> we're prepped. Prepped for what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jeff. How are you? Happy days. Oh, I hate my Twitch. It's like. It's so. What's wrong? Oh. Um. It stops every now and then. You had your redneck day today. Please explain. Hey, punk gopher. Redneck day. Did you um. Drink a beer while riding in the back of a truck, uh, wearing a camouflage, full outfit with a gun rack in the back. And the Confederate flag flying. Then I think I, I think I covered everything. Almost everything. Go for who goes? All right, go for hunting. Like seriously, or are you kidding? You actually went go for hunting. They're kind of cute. I see them around here. Not everybody likes them. And roasting hot dogs is so not redneck. What are you trying to say? I like to roast hot dogs. Saying I'm redneck. It's messed up. Messed up. I thought you were my friend. Silly Canadians. Oh, so so do they pay you to go gopher hunting? And why can't they why can't they get rid of the gophers in a humane way? Why must the killing occur? That's so sad. Poor gophers. I feel bad for them. I mean, does like anybody eat them, or they just throw them, or they just burn them? That's horrible. Hmm. 
ship him out to like a country that Canada doesn't like. That'll work. You can do that. Not us though. Just a different country, but not us. <sighs> Happy dreams are here again. I think I covered everything. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, I know what I want to say. Play Sleepy Hollow. Mm. Play Ska. They were off the covers. I've been doing good. Um, doing good. You know, having fun. Um, <laughs> having fun. See, see, look. Does yours do this? No. Nope. It does it all the time. Um. Working, podcasting, gardening, all kinds of good stuff. So, feeling good. I had some french fries today. I love hey, how, how you doing? I love that I find, like, french fries are, like, a special treat now. I'm like, oh, my God. <sighs> hey, no problem. See, actually, see, actually, three classy. See that? Yeah. Awesome. That's better for you? Yes. Because see, see, I know who that is. Right, right. No problem. That, hey, the um, intro was all Jay's idea, I must admit. Uh, Aaron, that, 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 that was all him. So, um, all right. You ready? I believe ready. so. Yeah, I think, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing something, but I'm sure we'll. Uh... Chick, chick, chick. Hello, hello. Renee. Yes. Renee Valentine. Yeah. <laughs> Renee Nicole Valentine. We weren't going, were we? I, I no. hope we weren't. Okay, good. Check, check, okay. check. Hello, hello. Renee. Yes. Renee Valentine. Yeah. <laughs> Renee Nicole Valentine. Family stuff. We weren't going, were we? I, Family stuff. He's got family stuff. Boom, 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 boom. You know, every time I I, I think about talking to Aaron, do, do you know what I think of? Playing WoW um, in uh, Outlands. Uh, because um, what's the forest around the main city? What is that called? The forest around the main city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Outside of Shatrath. What is that? Okay. Well, the forest there, I always think of that place because that's, cause that's where I was when like you first talked to Aaron. It's funny how my mind works like that. Um, is anybody else getting any funky, funky stuff on the um, feed? Is it breaking up or is it looking all right on your side? I'm just making sure. Yeah, WoW is good, I know, and I miss WoW, but uh, I wish Neverwinter was a little... Um, that's addicting. So it's Tarkar Forest. Tarkar Forest is what it was. That's what you, that reminds you of Ashy. Yes, because I was playing there the first time you talked to him on Skype, I think. Oh, oh, that's right. That's when. You, yeah, that's right. So, so that it's breaking up, but I think it's the website. Okay, are we breaking up? Okay, Handle said we're good, so it must be the website. I think it's um Tom Warner, since they're doing the takeover. All right, <laughs> I guess we will go ahead and um. Get this shizzle, this shit started. Shizzle. Gophers are not big rats. I just saw that hand, though. They're so cute. Um, Jeff me. said that he went gopher hunting today. That's good. And roasted hot dogs. <laughs> All right. Gopher hunting is... Um, Those Canadians, they're the weirdest that's... hobbies. All right. Okay. You ready, babe? Mm-hmm. Of course okay. you're ready. Actually... Bah, bah. I'm pretty sure I missed something in the notes, but it's okay. Bah, boo, 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 boo. If we, if we end early, it's fine. I have to clean up anyway. Okay. But we probably won't end <laughs> early because we're us. Okay. Cool. Let's do this. Renee Valentine. Thank you. 
Coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky. It's the Valentine cast with your prepped couple, Jay and Renee Valentine. Today is Monday, May 20th, 2013. And this is episode 108. 108. Isn't it great? No, you are uh, not. No, Dr. Seuss, you are not. Dr. Seuss, I am not. So this is um, the Valentine cast. I am Jay Valentine. This is my lovely, lovely bride and best friend. Renee Valentine. That's so odd way to put it, but hi. I How's am, it odd that you're I, my lovely, lovely bride? bride? That's for people who are getting married. We, I who's already been bride? married? Well, okay. Just Kissing say, a gifted horse in the mouth. All right. <laughs> this is my beautiful you, wife, Renee saying. Valentine. <laughs> that is so not the saying, but I'll take it. No. <laughs> Never look at oh that's yeah. a kiss. Yeah, she said never <laughs> kiss a gift <laughs> in the mouth. <laughs> Do you know where that phrase comes from? Yes. Okay, well then never mind. But you are a lover of horses and there I are am. a lot of people that may not know what a gift um kissing a gifted horse. No, looking looking a, gift a gifted horse. horse in the mouth. So, so <laughs> can you go ahead and break it down for yeah, our listeners? Well, yeah, it's simple. Back in the day, um, people, well, now, they actually check horses by looking at their teeth. So the saying is basically saying, so if someone gives you a free horse, they'll go checking it out and making sure that, you know, it's an excellent horse. Just take freaking horse. So mm-hmm. if somebody pays you a compliment or gives you something free, don't go complaining about it or, or, or like really checking it out. It's freaking free. Right. Just take it. Right, right. Now, this thing doesn't really hold all the way because if you think about it, if someone gives you a free horse and that free horse is really sick, that could end up costing you money. Right. So the thing has problems is all, it, is all I'm saying. Uh-huh. So, but see, yeah, so that's the origin of it. Boom. Boom. So um, we have a live studio audience here with us today. We, in the studio audience, we have uh, Mr. Ashy Three Classy, Mr. Punk Go for Mr. Hando, Miss Seminatrix, and I believe Mr. Anderson TJ is there as well. Yeah, he said BRB. Yeah, he did family say BRB. Stuff. God, family. Take yeah. away from everything. Family's important. <laughs> we all know that. It and is. I want to say thank you to all of them for showing up. And I will also say, man, there, there's something maybe a little funky going on with the... Uh, with the live feed. So. There's always something fucking going on with my live feed. I don't know. Yeah. I'm looking at it. It's, it doesn't work well. So if you're out there watching everything, you know, I hope it's not breaking up too bad. And hope it allows you to enjoy the show. So, but um, we're going to get ahead and get right into it. Or, or do we want to get right into it? Oh, why were we prepped? Oh, so you may <laughs> be wondering why we prepped. And we haven't done this in a while, why we named our show. So... We are the prep couple because none other than the lovely Mrs. Renee Valentine is going in for her gallbladder removal surgery tomorrow. Yeah, it's simple little procedure, 15 minute outpatient, yep. in and out. So. Yep, so we're prep. Very small. I'm prep. I'm ready to be there for you. You know. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like... I, like everybody I've talked to, oh, I know somebody who's been through that. It's like everybody knows somebody who's had a gallbladder. Out. Right, right. So it's so common it is that it makes me not worry about it. Right. So, so, so there's no um, no worries in your mind, or um, do you do no, you think about anything? Probably right. No, I, I probably right before I go to sleep, I'm like, oh man. I hope I wake up. But then if I didn't wake up, then I wouldn't know anyway. Right. So I guess it doesn't matter um, if I wake up. Or oh, please, please don't let me wake up. And it's 10 and it's ten years later because I've been in a coma. 
for my call player searches. So what you want me to do? You just want me to just, okay, she can't be asleep for 10 years, so. I, I mean, you're going to have to pull the plug eventually. No, nah, I can't. Why not? Because you don't want you don't have a living will. So. Well, I'll make one. No. It says, please pull the plug on me. Let's say five years. If I ain't up in five years, I ain't never coming up. Don't say that. Oh, man, I can't say anything. <laughs> what? Well, I could talk about... Well, I guess I can say we watched Space Seed last night yes. from Star Trek. Yes, well, Space Seed. I mean, we're going to talk about it more later. But. Because Mr. Khan and Space Seed happened to sleep in the old school okay, Star Trek. Okay, this is different. It was in a coma. It, it was, he was and he was frozen. Um, frozen, hygienic. But th- th- this is it's different. Coma means something's wrong with you. So, <laughs> let's say if you're sleeping... Yeah, because that, that freezes your state, right? That yeah, freezes you. supposedly. I mean, no one's really tested this theory. So that freezes so, you, so you don't age. That's that's the theory. So, but if you're sleeping and you're not frozen, you would age while you're sleeping. Yes. That is freaky. Why is it freaky that I'm age? Well, while you know I'm what? Sleeping? I guess we age while the eight hours or yeah, five hours we ever sleep. So. You, just, you just age. <laughs> that is a spoiler alert. Uh, What's a spoiler alert? Aaron, the space seed. That what is, are you talking uh, about? We're just talking about space seed. We're just talking about regular, the original series, Star Trek. So that's like what, like uh, so that was 1967. That so was about 60 years ago, almost. Yeah, we're talking about space seed, 1967. Man, man if you can spoil something from the 60s, something's wrong. Right. There's, there's something wrong with the world. Stay right. Right, so we're talking about Space Seed, (laughs) which is the Star Trek episode 23 Mm -hmm. from season one. And this was in, you know, like I said, like in 1967. I actually laughed more than I thought I would. It was funny. Parts weren't supposed to be funny, but it was funny. And if Space Seed from February 16th, 1967 is a spoiler, I'm sorry. (sighs) I mean, you've (laughs) you've had 60 years. Almost 60 years. Less than 60 years. Wait a minute. Is that 60 years? No, it's 40, 50. You have 50, 56 years to watch this damn okay. thing. Okay. Now, granted, I don't want people to tell me the ending of old movies that I've never seen. Like right. Like The Graduate. I don't want to know what happens because I haven't seen it and I want to see it. Right, right. So I try to avoid what happens in those movies. Right. Um, but I'm not going to be upset if someone spoils it because, you know, it's an old movie. You know, right. What I'm gonna do? It's, and, it's and, and, not like it's Star Trek Into Darkness and or see, anything. See, I'm trying to cover my trails. You see what I'm saying? Because it wasn't mm-hmm. a spoiler. It, it it wasn't. It wasn't a spoiler. But calling out a spoiler, and if I mention what it was about, it could be a spoiler. I don't think. <laughs> I, I think we can freely <laughs> talk about Space Seed at this point. Let me just put it that way. All right. Well, cool. We got a new bumper here from Mr. Hando. And uh, let's see if I got everything set up right here, because I'm actually playing it from my email. Oh God! From, from my email. This, uh, email. Is, this is gonna go so wrong. Yep, I didn't test it. So here we go. L- little weekend wrap up from Mr. Hando. It's gonna be loud, probably. Weekend wrap up. Yep, a little too much rocket fuel on that one. I was right. so right. That hey, was so loud. <laughs> but who was so? But who was who was quick on the um, mixer? You weren't that quick. No, not I, that I quick. I was. I was quick. No, not that. I was quick. quick. I was. See, I was fast. You might have thought you were fast. Hold on, let, me, let me see. Like I'm sure a fast turtle thinks he's really fast. Hold on. The fastest turtle thinks he's fast. Oh, oh. Please not that whoop, fast. Whoop whoop whoop. What's that? What are you doing? Oh. We're podcasting. I know we're podcasting. Hold on. Uh oh. I messed something up. Oh, do I mess something up, Renee? I don't know. You're mm. messing with stuff. John Tar- okay, all right. I thought I messed something up. <laughs> <laughs> thought I did. Yes, we have been doing this for 107 and a half shows. Trust me, we have. It just doesn't seem like it right now. No, I thought I messed something up, but I've mm-hmm. I realized what it was. So, But anyway, so what we do is weekend. <laughs> so, you know, when we do the weekend wrap up, mm-hmm. sometimes we talk about what we did in the weekend. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's... Yeah. You know, but then sometimes we, we we go back a little further and we kind of talk about what we've done since the last time we recorded. Yeah, weekend is a loose term. Yeah, weekend is a loose term. Yes, it so is. So there's always a weekend for somebody. But <laughs> on Tuesday, 
of last week, we were a guest on an awesome podcast that we've shared with you all before on um, our podcast of the week, which, you know, we used to do this bumper. Podcast of the week. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> but um, a while back, there was a, there was a, a, a podcast called Black Astronauts, you know, by a local um, fan here. Um, you said that, a while back, like, they aren't there anymore. What? You said a while back, there was a podcast. I said well, we talked about a oh. podcast a while back. Oh, no. Or something like that. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to go back and listen to it. You know what I'm saying? So sorry, it doesn't matter. I just like matter. to give you shit. I'm sorry. Yeah, quit giving Keep me going. shit, Renee. Keep going. You want, you want to do this? You do this. Mm. What did we do on Tuesday, Renee? On Tuesday, <laughs> we had an amazing time guesting on the Black Astronauts podcast. They, uh, the podcast consists of four young men. Um, let's see if I can get it right because I have a horrible memory. There's Aaron, Polo, Rock, and Feek. Woo! Good job. I'm right. Anyway, so uh, basically, I loved being on that podcast. Right. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, they basically talk about issues from a black person's point of view, which I don't hear that a lot on podcasts at all um and it was good just to talk to them we get to curse which we don't really let it all out here right but right if you want to hear the valentine letting it all out i said go listen to that um so i had a great time mm -hmm. um it was a live show it was a, yeah it was a live show first live it was show, their first theirs, live show and with there were guests in there which is which is more than we had on our first live show right but um so yeah it was a great time uh you can reach them what's their facebook page um i think you want to go black astronauts podcast on facebook yep just, just do a search for that um black astronaut one yep. is their twitter account and um but we're on episode 10 but i encourage you to check out their other shows yeah but if, yeah. if you're not sure really good go well, check out 10 and you can start from there and if we have any listeners from that podcast welcome hey yeah. thanks and for yeah, and I have laughed out loud on that podcast, and there's right. not a lot I have laughed out loud. And I talk back to it often, and that's how I know I love a podcast, when I talk back to it. Right, right. So I wonder if people talk back to us. I hear that people talk back to us. That'd be nice. Do y'all talk back to us? They talk back to us in the chat room. Mm, it's kind of different. They send the stuff in. But all right, we don't have a <laughs> I shit you not, unfortunately, but let's go ahead and jump right into a little bit Thank of tech. Oh. Whoa, shit. Sorry. We missed... The whole other part of the weekend. Like Why do I feel like we've been talking for a long weekend? time? We don't have a lot to talk about anyway. So but, I can't I talk? So what? check this out. This is another thing that we did live this weekend. You, you know, it's going to be on the, for our live audience. You'll probably also see it on the, um, on the, uh, the Twitter. Not the Twitter. You probably saw it on Twitter or Facebook. The Twitters. Um, but it'll also be on the post. Um, we did some gardening, um, this weekend. And, um. And then um, some other stuff that we did. And I'm showing some pictures here. So we did some gardening, right? Yeah, we did gardening. It was good. So um, last year I did gardening, but I didn't get enough flowers last year. So I was I was I intended on rectifying that. So we went rectifying. <laughs> Rect. Uh, what was that? <laughs> so I bought a lot of flowers. Um, and all different kinds. Jay helped me because he's amazing. Right. And uh, we got some very pretty ones. Uh, they're really short now because, you know, I just planted them. But uh, in about a... What? Why are you showing? What? <laughs> You're so crazy. What? It's not on the thing anymore. You changed it. What's not showing? The, the, the flower. Okay, that's my mom's now. Yeah, I'm going through all of them. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing a little slideshow. They probably saw that one in me. Which one? The one in me in my bathing suit. Oh, what are you talking, babe? Can you continue talking, please? So, uh, <laughs> you have to stop watching the no, feed. No, 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 no. So we <laughs> bought the flowers uh, on Friday, but but it started raining on Friday night, so we didn't do it Friday. So we got up early on Saturday, uh, started planting. And my mom is awesome and came over to help because she likes to garden. Um, so she has a huge garden. Hers is way bigger than mine. Uh, that's what she said. Um, and 
Uh, so we plant all the flowers planted. It's a huge garden. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I'm excited about it. There are some pretty colors. Things have already started to bloom when we just planted it on Saturday. Like I have things in bloom that weren't in bloom on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am pumped. So we planted all those. That took a long time. It did. A long, And it was dirty and it was hard work. And then Jay went and got some mulch for us. And... We had to spread the mulch. And the mulch mm-hmm. wasn't that hard, but that was backbreaking a little bit. So You're talking about it wasn't hard. It was all hard. It was <laughs> all work. She... That is what she said. <laughs> but it was all work. It was. It was really hard work. And then uh, we went, since since my mom helped us, we went over to her house. And right. we helped her with her mulch. And she has a bigger garden than us. But um, I think next year we're going to do the... The work share. Yeah, program. we're gonna do the work share. The, the Valentine kinda. Crocker work share program. Yeah, I think it's gonna be kind of cool. So I'm so I'm planning on posting pictures in a month or so, and I bet it's gonna be gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay for us for gardening. And then also this week, um, this weekend we um, <laughs> we took the dogs to the vet on Thursday. Um, so we dropped Sammy off that morning to go get his grooming, his haircut, his mohawk, and all that other good stuff. Yeah. That, that Our dog gets a mohawk because he's cool. That he's cool about. You know, it makes me like him a little bit more. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, so <laughs> us being um, time conscious, it was Toby's six-month checkup. So we said, you know what? Take Sam to get his stuff done. We'll schedule Toby's um, vet appointment. At the end of the day, so then that's when we pick Sammy up as well. Never again. So we did this. <laughs> we take Toby into the vet. Toby gets excited when he goes to the vet. Very excited. He very, loves the vet. He's very vocal when he goes in the vet. He's and, not usually vocal at home. Right, except right. outside when he sees something, but at the vet, he, so he sounds amazing. he was so vocal that Sammy heard him. Right. And Sammy started doing his little whining thing because he knew okay. that mama was in the building. When you say whine, it doesn't convey the... <laughs> but it was loud. He cries. It's more of a cry. And, it's, and, and it goes high-pitched sometimes. And so we were sitting in the waiting room. Toby doing his little thing. And then Sammy doing his little thing. And I was like, we have it to just be kept loud. getting It was louder so embarrassing. And louder, like, and louder and louder and louder. Never again. And I told Renee, she spoke. Ball that damn dog. It's bad. Yep, yep, yep. And um. Oh, you didn't change the video. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, said switch back. You don't like you don't like Renee's pictures. You, you uh, no. no. <laughs> I, I think what it was. I started talking. No, I think what it was that when I was doing the Sammy mm-hmm. high pitch thing. Yeah. I think people want to see my face. No, that's. A, I don't. I don't think. Probably not. They probably want to see a pretty face. So. No, no, that's not. So not what I'm saying. Yay! There I am. <laughs> but uh, so yeah. So um, I don't know if y'all have dogs and if they do well at the vet. Like most dogs are scared to go to the vet. Like a lot of them. Right. Toby wants to go so bad he does not want to leave. Yeah. He likes to get shots. He likes to get the little stuff sh- shot up his nose. Mm-hmm. He's he's a weirdo. He, he's he's a junkie. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He's like, I likes the medicine. He does. I likes the medicine. So, uh, so yeah, so that's what we did this weekend. Um, the yep. gardening took about almost four hours. So that was kind of. Uh, no, um, we started. Total. We started. Well, I Eight. left at nine. Yeah. To go get mulch. Right. Um, I got back about eleven thirty. Right. From delivering mulch. We didn't get done until almost one. We got done at one. And then we went over mom's, mom's house. And, and that we, was like 45 minutes right. an hour. So, yeah. yeah. About four hours. Yeah, I guess it's about four hours, I guess. Listen I thought it was me. almost five hours. Maybe it was almost five. I'll, okay. I would lean on the five. Yeah, you know I'm trying to make it more because we busted our ass. Check, check, check it. Tick, 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 technology. So, Yahoo wants to buy Tumblr. People are taking to the streets with pitchforks and torches and tar and feathers. Yes, because we all know that Yahoo screwed up um, Flickr. I heard they <laughs> screwed up GeoCities. They they screwed up GeoCities. GeoCities. They basically shut it down way, way back in the day. 
Um, they screw up. <laughs> um, you remember Yahoo 360? Oh my gosh, yes, we, I used to be on that. I know you. <laughs> we both used to be on that. Oh. <laughs> that was lame, but yeah. <laughs> so that was like <laughs> Yahoo's version of Facebook and MySpace, I guess. It was like Google Plus. It was a lot like Google Plus, right? I guess it was. I I can't re- really remember what it was like. To tell you the truth. And then what else did they screw up? They um the CEO they screwed up Yahoo. They screwed up <laughs> Yahoo. <laughs> they screwed up um. <laughs> The their work at home developers. Oh, oh, yeah. The um, CEO doesn't like people working from home. Right. Um, she's a very ambitious working mother. And she can do it. Yeah. If, if she can do it, all the moms can do it. But here's the only thing. <laughs> she got she built she built a nursery next to her office with her own money so that she could work from the office. So women, men go Build a nursery. Yeah, build a nursery next to your cubicle or yep. what have you. Just actually, don't even, don't even spend the money. to Just get a pack and play. A pack and play. And, just and, put it right there. And put them right there and have your nanny sit in the cube with you. So anyway, yeah. I, Marissa Mayer, you're crazy. But um, they, are, they have purchased Tumblr for $1.1 billion cash money. Yeah, and uh, do you think? I think Tumblr's worth 1.1 billion. A lot of people use it, but what Yahoo doesn't realize, I don't think I don't think they realize. People, if if Yahoo changes things a lot, people are mm-hmm. going to stop using it. Right. Because even if the changes aren't bad, people are automatically going to say, eh, "They made the changes. I'm gone." Right. Kind of thing. So I hope it's worth 1.1 billion. Well, so for them, just so the here's the thing sake, that makes but. Tumblr cool. I mean, you you can quickly go up and set up, you know, a website, you know, for whatever. I mean, if you want a website of Melissa Mayer, the CEO of Yahoo, saying we promise not to screw it up. Yeah, that's what she said. You we know, promise not to screw it up. If if you if you wish to set up a Tumblr called Melissa Mayer at Tumblr.com, you can. <laughs> you just do all kinds of craziness. Yeah, you just have her saying different ways they aren't going to screw it up. That is such a good Tumblr idea. But then also, That's you know, awesome. th- there's also, you have your adult content out there mm-hmm. that's, you know, freely available. Yeah, there's <laughs> a adult-only content out there. Yeah. Um, some people do poetry out there. Poetry, yeah. Art. But, so I, I often wonder... Because Tumblr was innocent at one time. Yeah. It was innocent. It's everything. It was innocent, but then all of a sudden, the internet got a hold of it, and it became adult. Yeah. You know, which is not a problem for me. I mean, I don't give a rip, honestly. I mean, it didn't mess it up. But I wonder if Yahoo, when they come in, Mm -hmm. if she means by we're not going to screw it up, is saying we're not going to touch it, or are they going to remove all the adult stuff? I don't know what they're going to do. Well, por- like adult content, aka porn, must be right. everywhere. This is this is Rule Thirty Four. Have you heard of Rule Thirty Four? No. What's Rule Thirty Four? Rule Thirty Four says that it's a generally accepted internet rule that states that p- pornography or sexually related material exists for any conceivable subject. There is always some kind of porn involved with any conceivable subject. That is the Rule 34. If it exists, there is a porn of it. That's, I can deal that's with Rule that. 34. I can understand uh, that. And uh, so, that, so if there's Tumblr, there's going to be porn Tumblr because that's, right. that's how the Internet works. <laughs> um, I don't think I, – I mean, if – I think if they just put an age on it, they're doing their due di- well, they do. I mean, I mean, Tumblr does it already. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they, you know, when you go out there, it says, hey, yo, 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 yo. When you set your account up, are you over 18? Then you have, is it All 18 right. or 21? It's 18, I believe. It's 18 because you're an adult at 18. You can do whatever crap you want. You can go to strip club you know, at 18. Hold on, let me go check. Let me go to the porn site real quick. It doesn't have alcohol. <laughs> I'm going to go to the porn site real quick. <laughs> Let's see. I'm not going to say the website. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can uh, do do that, but anyway. Well, um, yeah, go ahead. Keep, so yeah, keep talking. I, I, I'll continue talking about it, but um, <laughs> I don't think they 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 should get rid of it because it's not their job to police kids, and I hate that people 
want to do that. Um, Hendo said link it by the way. Okay, what the? Por- I, I don't I don't know what he wants us to link. <laughs> no Por- man. Porn sites? No, I'm. I'm, I'm All right, I'm so I'm at least 21 years of age on this one. Right. So you have to be 21. Okay. You have to be 21 to see the porn. That's sad that you can go and fight and die for the country, but you can't see porn. If you read and fully understand the above agreement and you affirm and swear the viewing, downloading, receiving sexual explicit material does not violate the standards of your community, that you won't make any of the materials available to minors in any form that you believe is your constitutional right to view this material, that you are wholly liable for any legal ramification that may arise for your receiving or viewing of these materials and that you are over the age of 21. You can vote for the leader of this country, but yet you are not supposed to watch porn on You can get married. Yes. Just think about Have a lifelong commitment. You can get married at 18, you know. But you can. But you can probably get married earlier than that, but you can't look at porn. On on Tumblr. I think 18-year-olds, can 18-year-olds get like go to a sex shop? I think they can. I don't know. I'm so I, I haven't been I pers- haven't been that young in a long time. It's really sad. I probably used to know. I don't know. We should go into blue movies and when find you, out. When you <laughs> 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 anyway anyway, so <laughs> from technology to porn, how's that? Uh get anywhere. So right. uh Yahoo, good on you. Don't screw it up. Yeah, don't screw it up. And go porn. <laughs> Media, movies, books, comics, TV. Porn will not be a tag, by the way. That would be a really bad idea. It will not be because I learned from naming <laughs> one of our podcasts, The Swinging Couple. That, what that brings. What that brought. So That didn't bring what, what we wanted it to bring. What's up, Swinging Couple? Hey. How y'all doing? Uh, shout it's, out to y'all. <laughs> it's Hando <laughs> and Wow. If Hando, Hando said he was in Wow. Right. Earlier. Right, right. And if he's in WoW, we're we're gonna need uh an a random number and Jay will tell you that random number oh. momentarily. Well, yeah, where's my remote control at? <laughs> so um the movies we watched. Yeah, oh um, yeah, I'll, yeah. We can talk about that. So the movies all right, so we pulled two movies last week. It was uh Becoming Christian or uh-huh. no Beware of Christian. Beware of Christian. And Freakonomics. Freakonomics. Freaka, 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 nami. So Jay had heard, you know, some dubious things about Beware of Christians. But right, right. We always give movies a go, and mm-hmm. we have created a new rule, and you all can say we're cheating or whatever. Right. But if we watch the first 15 minutes and we're just like, okay, this is not working because it offends my sensibilities, we can pretty much turn it off. Right. But that but I but I won't use that rule to get out of bad movies. I'm gonna get I'm gonna use that rule to get out of movies that I really, really don't wanna see, if that makes sense. Right. So yeah. so beware of Christians. I think that um it wasn't bad. No, the no. Con- but the concept for us really wasn't something that we were looking for. Yeah, that that movie was meant to speak to people. It was and that me- movie was not meant to speak to. It me. was meant to speak to like-minded people. Yeah, it was. It of, was. It, you know, it was basically it was meant for Christians. You're I right. Think. Right. I, that's my. That's my yeah, opinion. I mean, it, was sure a, it was a. It was a documentary to tell Christians to get off their ass, mm-hmm. get out of the just religion, get out of the four walls, go beyond the four walls. And and, he, and do yeah. what Christ did. Yeah, he yeah. didn't. He wasn't confined. Right. By go out and do the good works right, that right. finds Christianity. Right. Basically. Right. Right. So and stop talking. Stop. Stop talking to talk and do the talk. Right. And or stop do the walk. like. Stop like wanting you know stuff and don't and don't worry about wanting stuff. Right. Anymore, and, so. and the guys that did it, I mean, they were cool. They were college yeah, kids. They were cool. You know, they were kind of fun. They were funny. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, you know, they were like, hell, I want a car. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, like, I like that part. They were real. They, they were like, right. yeah, I like the car. Yeah. But, so, and so they realized that they had flaws within themselves. Right. That. I mean, yeah. And, I mean, I can appreciate, you know, their feelings on it. Right. You right. know, um, so, but it, it just wasn't turning my wheels right and i understand that i mean when i was or very active bumper, when i was when i was very active in the church i <laughs> right. mean that's something that that i always felt was that you know i didn't like the whole 
confined by the four walls thing. You know what I'm saying? I like the whole reaching out. Yeah, that wasn't my issue. But, right. But, yeah, I can see how that would be a lot of people's issue. Um, well, actually, it's not. I mean, some, some there are some believers that, some Christians that want to stay in their comfort zone and they just want to be around Christians. And it's like if you're around Christians, who are you reaching? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but why do you have to reach anybody? Because that's, I mean, that's their that's doctrine. Their thing. That's their okay. thing. I mean, you're supposed, your lifestyle is supposed to be that which that people see. They're like, what makes Renee so cool? Or what makes Jay so cool? Or so-and-so like, so, so cool? a cool person in general. And then that gives them the opportunity to share the love of Christ. But anyway, <laughs> we're going down a whole different road. Please. So let's talk yeah, about. Yeah, we need to turn around. So I'm let's talk about Freakonomics. <laughs> okay, this <laughs> this was better than I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah. It was good. It was good. I thought, I thought we were going to actually stop this one as well. I'm not going to lie. So Freakonomics was um, a documentary based on the book Freakonomics. Freakonomics. Right. I've slightly heard about Freakonomics by, in passing. And normally, I wouldn't even consider it because it has economics in it. But <laughs> really, I mean, but, I'm being honest. So, so me, Renee, right, put it on the list. Okay. Because someone had told me about it. Probably recommendals. Probably. So, what it is? Uh, there's there's a um, economist and a journalist who wrote. Freakonomics is a different way to look at the economy and the trends and the stats uh, of economics. Mm -hmm. And it's basically six, six little short documentaries. Six um, nine. Uh, was it six? Yeah. Okay. The first one is Discovering Cheating as, as Applied to Teachers and Sumo Wrestlers. And the second one was... Oh, no, never mind. It wasn't six. It was... Oh, sorry about that. What? It wasn't six. But the first one was the cheating in sumo. Mm -hmm. um, that, that wasn't the first one, though. Yeah, it wasn't? Nope, it wasn't. <sighs> sorry. Oh, sorry. It's four parts. It was, no, it's the four parts. The first one was by Morgan Spurlock called A Rashonda by Any Other Name. Right. That explored baby names, uh, the possible implication of black versus white names because mm -hmm. and and everything they said makes sense right um there are some names that you think of as a black name and there are some names you think of as a white name but they said that naming a child right you know a black name didn't necessarily mean they were going to be bad no but they did but find out that the people situation right. a person's situation which would probably be black, mm -hmm. would would more than likely name their kid like Roshanda. Well, well, they did do the resume thing. They had two identical resumes. Right. And one of the guys named them was Bruce, and the other one was like Tyrone. Right, Bruce and, and Tyrone. And Tyrone got less callbacks, even though they had the exact same resume. Right. right. Just because they of said his name. that they said if Bruce applied for the job, he would get a job in eleven weeks. And Tyrone wouldn't get a job until 15 weeks. Well, oh, yeah, I think it. I, I think that was the promotion part of the job. Like, no, no, no. This was if they didn't. It, neither one had a job. I thought it was promotion. Okay. It would Maybe take. I looked at it wrong. It would take Tyrone to get 11 weeks to get a job. Not Tyrone, but Bruce, okay. which was the white candidate. I don't you know. think that's what it was, but that's okay. It doesn't. Matter. Or not the white candidate, but the guy named Bruce. It doesn't matter. And the <laughs> the second part was called pure. Corruption. This was about cheating and sumo wrestling, mm -hmm. which was interesting and kind of sad. Um, and the third one was, it's not always a wonderful life. Mm -hmm. And this uh, basically was trying to explain why, the, why crime dropped in the mid to late 90s when everybody expected it to go up. And basically, oh, that was narrated by Melvin Van Peebles. Hey, Melvin. Mm -hmm. um, so... Is it a spoiler to say what their findings were? I don't know. Okay. I don't think so because it's, cause it's, it's a documentary. So. I mean, it's based off the book. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. So, yeah. So, they, they, f they found that 50% of the drop in crime was, they, they think, caused by 
the legalization of 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 abortion countrywide. Right. And at first you're like, what? But they explained and it makes sense actually. Um and I love stats, I love facts. Of course I don't like take everything immediately at face value, so um but it's interesting to think of that because less un less un less unwanted children results in uh less children who are brought up in a, in m- maybe uh environment that that uh is bad for them and leads them to a life of crime yada 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 mm-hmm. and the big indicator was that crime um from 25 and up age range that didn't go down but the crime for 25 and under that crime rate went down so that was a big indicator Hmm. of that so i thought that was really interesting i think that was my favorite one because i learned a lot of stuff right and the fourth one was can you bribe a ninth grader to succeed yeah and uh that was about uh if you can pay students to achieve higher grades and i want to say um congratulations to my son daniel making it on to the eighth grade yay all Daniel. my kids, they they passed, but Daniel worked real hard at the tail end to to pass to the eighth grade. And so. I'm glad he did. I'm glad he did too. He called me to cash in on his <laughs> um his premium Minecraft account. So hey, hey, Dad, I got to pay up. That that is one thing. If you promise something to kids, you better yep. be prepared so. to come through. Don't don't talk crap. Yep. So I got to pay through. up on the premium account for Minecraft. There you go. I told him though, no griefing. No griefing. If you grief, you can take it away, right? Uh, or, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, but did you know the directors of Freakonomics also did Super Size Me? I did see that on the little credits when it came Jesus out. Jesus Camp. Oh, Jesus Camp. Oh, that freaked me out. Enron, oh. the smartest guys in the room, While We Fight, mm-hmm. and The King of Kong. Mm. I like, uh, I didn't see Super Size Me. Did I? Yeah, we saw it. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, we saw that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because that's, cause that's when they had the uh, food... The In the little glass jars. McDonald's, yeah, it was the whole McDonald's <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I liked Freakonomics. I'm glad I watched it, and so, I'm glad it was chosen. So, I just want you to know, Hando's name is um, Denzel Washington now. So, Denzel Washington has rolled <laughs> a 63. Oh, Denzel. Oh, wait, oh, th- 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 oh, no. I'm not going to say it now. It sounds weird now that that's Hando. But, uh, 63. So, what's 63, Jay? Yeah, it does sound weird. <laughs> Regardless if it was him. 63 is a movie called The Darwin Awards. The Darwin Awards. An out-of-work detective peddles his skills to an insurance company to identify people who might accidentally kill themselves out of <laughs> sheer stupidity. The Darwin Awards. Okay. Is it, is it wrong that it makes me laugh sometimes? I mean, people die. But they die from their own stupidity. I so. think <laughs> I find it odd that you find it funny. <laughs> <laughs> but when you watch videos of people doing something stupid and getting embarrassed, you feel bad for the person. So yes, I do find it weird. Yeah, I don't know why. So it's I've funnier always for the person. The so it's funnier for the person to die from stupidity. <laughs> and somebody getting hurt. Then somebody stupidity. getting hurt from stupidity. Yeah. I I don't know what to say. I know. <laughs> I mean, I find it funny anything. if somebody gets hurt from stupidity because they live to laugh about it. No, no. <laughs> okay, I have different views, but I don't, I don't, I don't know why it's funny. It just is. Yeah. Somebody who does something, I guess, because generally mm-hmm. the stuff you do that kills you is generally more dangerous than the stuff they do just to get hurt. Right. So it's like you're really stupid to do this really idiotic thing. Right. That. Okay. Well. Anyway. So yeah, Darwin Awards. I hope it's good. Yep. We'll wait for the first 15 minutes. Yep, yep, yep. Um, it's probably good because it, this sounds like a recommendal <laughs> that you put on here. Why is it always recommendal? Because you all, all the shows that are on here. That's not true. The majority that's, of the shows. That's not true either. Are probably from you adding no, that's recommendals. Not true. Um, anyway, so on Sunday, we went to the brand new theater here in Louisville, down at the St. Matthews, down at the St. Matthews Mall. <laughs> Down at St. Matthew's Mall here in Louisville, Kentucky. And um, it's a Cinemark. Very, very, very nice theater. Yes. It's cinema. Brand new. It smells new. It does. The bathrooms are nice. So I've <laughs> decided to stop. When I 
write about the theater, if I'm talking about movies, I am going to no longer say theater. I'm going to say cinema. All right. Where why? You, yes. Because why? I cannot spell theater correctly to say my T-H-E-A-T-R-E? ass. If someone says, if someone says J, I'll give you a million dollars if you spell theater correctly. You can. And I theater? hope, and I hope that you're not around if this happens, because I will, I, I, I will lose a million dollars. Well, I think you can spell it either way. T H E A T. Yeah, you can. With the T R E, it's in, it's British spelling, and the E R is American spelling. But you can spell it either way. But I don't think I don't even think I'm spelling it right, babe. T H E A T E R. Do you spell it like that? T H E A T. See, I put. I see. I put another. See. You you put two T's. I put two T-H's. Yeah. Two, see? two T-H's. I do. Where's yeah. the Where's the other T-H? I don't know, Brene. Theater. Shut the- up. <laughs> I'm just telling. That's why I'm telling you now, <laughs> so that if it happens, you won't be mad at me. I yeah. cannot spell theater to say my ass. That's all. Awesome. T-H-E-A-T-R-E. Is that right? T-H-E-A-T-E-R, or T-R-E. Okay, is it R-E or E-R? It's both. Which is ER? Who is ER? That's that's American. Well, I spell it the damn. I spell it British English all the time. That's then. fine. You can, you can if you like. I but, mean, if nothing wrong. But that's how I spell color C O U L O U R. But when I spell it on the iPhone, it tells me it's wrong all the time. Well, hello. <laughs> it's like it's wrong. Of course, it's gonna tell you it's wrong. It's, we're not in England. I, I bet in England, if you spell it with an ER, it'll tell you it's wrong. It's bullshit. Yeah, yes, um, <laughs> it is. And you can complain to iOS. So, where, where, where are we going? Oh, we went. So, <laughs> so we, went to go, so we went to the new theater and we saw Star, Star Wars. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I do that all the time. Star, Star Trek. Trek. We saw Star Trek, not Star Wars. Yeah, Into Star the Darkness. Trek. Into the Darkness. And uh, it, this was a sequel. Right. To the previous one, which was named something, something. But you don't have to see the first one. No. Nope. You really it's don't. Not a, it's, not, it's not a story continuation. No. Nothing. And this, yeah. The only thing is a relationship that starts in the first one, continues in the next one, but you don't even have to worry about it. Right. I liked it. I liked a lot. it. A mm-hmm. lot. Plus, Zoe Saldana is hot. She looks skinny. Yes. Yeah, she needs to eat a sandwich. But other than that, I think she's gorgeous yeah very very she's, she's all right person. she looked she looked too skinny and in and zachary quinto even even with those bangs in those ears he looked handsome he did he looked pretty handsome and the kirk dude uh i do say that he looks with a really young kirk like like i can see him he he looks like kirk right so that so that's good and i like that i don't know who this dude is that's playing kirk you know oh. what i'm saying I've seen him on Tom, Tom, Tom and Lorenzo a lot. I can't remember his name. Tom and Lorenzo. (laughs) I like Tom and Lorenzo, so sue me. No, no. Uh, That's where you see all. (laughs) All the famous people. All the famous people. It's Tom, Tom and Lorenzo dot com, everybody. It's a fashion website. Really funny. And hey, they didn't pay for that. Nope. They don't have to because they, they pay for it with me laughing. So his name. That's how they pay. So his name is Chris Pine. Chris Pine. That is. And um, it was good. Huh. Uh, he was in ER. One oh, show. One show. <laughs> you just say, "Oh, I remember him." No, I wasn't gonna say that at all because <laughs> I don't. But um, we are we are not Trekkies. We do not know a lot about the original series. Right, right. Um, we watched. Uh, um, I just lost my. We watched the other series. The right, Trek we watched the um, next generation. Next. next Generation yep. when we Just were small. Yep. So well, I, well, you know what? My mom watched a lot of the original series oh, okay. well, on the I weekend, didn't. so I saw, I saw some of them. Well, not some of them. I saw a good number of them. I think I saw the tr- the uh, the trouble with triples. I think it's the one I saw. Right. Because right. tr- triples are cute. So uh, <laughs> we need to watch that. We do. Yep. We do. So I thought it was good. Go yep. check it out. Go um, check it out. And if, there won't be many spoilers. No, there's there won't not. Be no um, spoilers. So. If you're really, really nitpicky, you might find some, some things to, to nitpick about. But even the people that nitpicked, they still liked it. Right, so, right. Go figure. Um, so, and then, um, 
after watching Game of Thrones and uh, Mad Men last night, we decided to watch an episode of Star Trek, mm -hmm. the original series. And then um, there's a couple more we're going to watch that some friends told us to watch and stuff like that. So we went, it was, it, um, the one we watched last night was pretty funny. Called Space Seed. Space Seed. So it was pretty funny. It was funny. Like, stuff was funny that wasn't supposed to be funny. Right, right. Like, it was so funny when, like, a character supposedly got hurt or died or something. Right. One of the characters went like this. He did what? <laughs> oh, like, he died and he yeah, shipped it real fast. Yeah. In the, uh, in the, in the Yara or whatever went like this. <laughs> oh, you whore, you whore, you whore. Yeah. Yara, Yara, Yara. <laughs> it was, it was funny. The act, some of the acting was so like, oh. It was dramatic. And Khan's legs were white. <laughs> yeah. And his, and his body and his face were brown. What it was, brown. It was, so it was, it was, it was pretty, pretty funny. funny. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we did that. So yep. we're going to watch some more Khan. Um. And then um, the office finale, we watched that. So oh. it was the official ending of the office after oh. nine seasons. So oh. we watched the, um, you know, the the actors talking about about it. Oh, so sad. And we also talked about, and then we watched, you know, yeah, the actual show. And and I have to say, they ended it well. Yeah, and Jay Jay, Jay knows I'm I, I'm. Not a crier. Right. I, I'm not one of those women that cry. Mm -hmm. But I teared up and one tear actually made it out of my eye. Uh oh. Um so it was so sad. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to think of my mo my my T V watching without having the office in it. Because mm -hmm. it was, made me laugh a lot. Some people said it was on, like, yeah, it wasn't as good as it was in its prime years, but it was still really funny. Yeah. So, and, um, so I'm gonna miss the office. They ended on a good note. Um, so that opens up the way for more <laughs> things to watch, I guess. Right. Oh, and two of our shows that we started watching, new shows, they got canceled. Mm -hmm. I want to give a R.I.P. to the New Normal yep. and to Ben and Kate. Yeah. Uh, I you know, New Normal was before his time, <laughs> and Ben and Kate required special people, you know, <laughs> to watch. I, I mean, because I don't even know what that means. I mean, it was a different kind of humor, yeah, a little bit, yeah, yeah. you know. I, so, yeah, yeah. I so, like the dude in it, the uh, black dude with the fro. Yeah, he He's was pretty funny. funny. He was pretty funny. So, uh, yeah, so that's the TV that we watched. And so on to, you know. Games stuff that with, we play. Yeah, the stuff that we do the most, play the game. So we've been playing Never With The Nights. Um, it's in open beta, and we've been thoroughly enjoying it. Um, it's a fun game. It is. It and is. I haven't spent any money, and it's still fun. Yep, and it, it's free to play. Um, there's, you know, has this thing. But it, I, I would say, um, I would say that. It was, I forgot what I was about to say. I don't know. Well, Go ahead. I, take, it, take it over, babe. I got a yard. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> um, Never Win oh, the Nights, um, it's, you know, perfect world, <laughs> cryptic team up. Right, right. And We're doing a horrible job explaining this game. And it's based off of um, D&D, &D, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and, and because of that, it has so many aspects of D&D. &D. Right. Like the combat system has aspects of D&D. &D including, you know, when you get hurt or uh, cool downs on things. Some are longer. You get action points by doing certain things. So you, so, so you use your daily. Right. And it's just stuff like that. And, like, whenever you notice a little nod to the role-playing game, it's, it's awesome. Uh-huh. Uh, and you can – so there is – of course, there's a profession system. Mm -hmm. It's like a play and wait. You set it and you come back. You can even do it online. There's a gateway where you can do it. So you can be at work, working on your professions. Right. So there's that. It's bad for work, but it's good for me. So, uh, so yeah, I like it. Um, I'll probably be playing some more tonight, maybe, after I clean up, maybe. Yep. Uh, so go check it out. It's free. So you can always try it out. Yep, yep. Um, so, with that, we're not going anywhere because we're going to talk about say the same thing. <laughs> it's just a quick blurb. Uh, say, so say why don't you just go ahead and start talking about it then? Well, because you were talking. No, because you looked at me that says, you were talking. Jay, say something. 
No, you were talking. What was I talking about? You said, so we're going to, so I was. Well, no, because you looked at me before I said. We're so say, say the same thing is a free <laughs> uh, app for the iPhone, iPad. What it is. Well, it's also on Android as well. And I always forget about those people. Um, what do you mean those people? <laughs> so the basis is um, you say a random word mm-hmm. and the person you're playing with writes a random word. It could be any word you want in the entire world. Window, movie, heart, dog, whatever. So it shows you what you said and what your friend said. Mm-hmm. And so you have to think of a word that combines aspects of the two words you all thought. For example, if one person says pet and one says, and one, and a, and a one person says love, if you say dog, that kind of makes sense, right? Yeah, I guess. If you both have dogs. But well, no, no. Pet, I mean, dog or pet, cat. Pet, love, yeah. Yeah, you can say dog, cat, but that's the thing. There are several things you can say. Right. So if they also say cat, yay, mm-hmm. the game the game is won. But if you say cat and they say dog, then cat and dog are the two new words. You have to find a word that have aspects of cat and dog. I would say enemy. Enemy? Mm-hmm. There are lots of cats and dogs that get together very well. But come on. Okay. This is the stereotypical TV stuff. Cats versus dogs. Are we doing stereotypical? Are yes, we, we're doing stereotypical. Are we, doing are we? Okay. Yeah. God. You what would you say? What would you say if if it was cat and dog? Animal. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are they or are they not both animals? They're animals. I rest my case. Animals. <laughs> All right. All right. So, um, I guess Renee's going to move on. We're going ahead. Of- the fridge is not prepared. What? Uh, I cut myself off with the bumper. <laughs> I cut myself off with the bumper. So how, how how in the world could you possibly cut yourself off? Easy. By the click of a mouse. So okay. Renee's going to step away real quick, and she's going to go. Please be 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 expedient. I'm, I'm sore. She she needs to be expedient because we have a a try this for um today, and we're going to be doing ten times again. And Renee, being the person that she is, absolutely loves um doing the ten tam slam to try. Out new flavors of Tim Tams. So this will be our our second time, I believe, of us doing the Tim Tam um, Slam. But we have um, a different flavor. And that flavor is going to be, I think she's doing Turkish Delight. Because she's been um, wondering about uh, about this uh, this flavor that we got from our great friend Lita from Australia. So while we're waiting on her, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, um, my weight loss that I had this week. And I'm trying to find a little a little music to play while, while I talk because, you know, it's always good to have a little, a little good music to play while I'm talking to kind of fill it in. So we got a little Pretty Lights going on right now. Title Double Love from their Falling Up the City, Filling Up the City Sky um, CD. Um, but um, this week I lost 0.8 pounds for a total of 99 pounds. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> um, Renee, she maintained her weight and she's still at 85.6 pounds. Um, so our week total is 0.8 pounds for a grand total of 184.6. Um, also this week, Renee made an awesome, 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 awesome um, dish. Um, it was um, tostadas. She made beef tostadas. So she went and got a roast, put it in the crock pot, cooked it for eight hours, shredded the meat, and she seasoned it and all this other stuff that made it so delicious and succulent <laughs> that it was great. And um, we had it. And then we were able to uh, enjoy this uh, 
this great, great meal. So that was our weekend food. And then I think on Sunday, yeah, you know, Sunday and Saturday, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Crocker had a cookout. So we got to partake in some good grilled meats and baked beans and um, sweet potatoes um, while we were over there um, from doing all the gardening. So we had a good time doing that. And um, I just want to, at this time, if anybody likes to, while Renee is making the uh, milk and everything, feel free to call in. Um, the Skype line is open. You can reach me at L-A-B-O-Z-Q-E-C on Skype if you want to call in. Um, as if you're listening live, of course. But um, trying to think what else um, we had going on. Oh, um, it was funny because we were talking with one of our, um, one of my coworkers, and we were talking about, she was asking us, how do we go about um, knowing that we needed to, not needed to, but we want to, I can do it. I can you just bring it around. Um, about losing weight, and how do we know that it was time to, for us to do that. And um, when we were going to Nurtacular last year, um, when we stopped in Colorado to see Reggie, when we were walking through, um, when we were walking through the grocery store, could not handle keeping up with Reggie <laughs> because of my weight and everything. So that's kind of what sparked Renee and I to decide to start our weight loss journey. Yep. <clears throat> um, but Renee's back. I am back with our and and I needed some uh, accompaniment for our try this. A few weeks ago, um, you might have seen us do the Tim Tam Slam with Tim Tams mm-hmm. that uh, Lita. Hold on a second. This is horrible. That Lita had sent to us from Australia, and uh, the Tim Tam Slams are not over. Mm-hmm. They are not over because we have two more types of Tim Tams to try. Two. So we're actually going to try one today. It's the Turkish Delight, right? Turkish Delight. I'll hold it up so people can see it. Um, i tell you the truth. I have no idea what Turkish Delight tastes like. I know it's a, it's a um, type of candy or sweet. Mm-hmm. They talked about it in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. <laughs> Sorry. There just, we go. I just remember Here, what you said at dinner. Here's that, the thing <laughs> that I've learned with Renee. And my sisters. As much and as her me. sisters. A lot of memories are, are things that they learn, which is great, were from books. Like when we talked about turnips, she talked about the Rock's Stone Soup and book. Yep, the book Stone Soup. And then now that we talk about tur- when we talked about locks, mm-hmm. you know, the um, salty fish that you have with cream mm-hmm. cheese, cream cheese and locks. Right. You learned that from the Babysitter's Club. I did. And um, when we talk about dinosaurs and raptors, mm-hmm. you always talk about Jurassic Park. Yes. And, and especially about the Velociraptors. I like Velociraptors. So. And so for this, the Lion, the Wish, and the Wardrobe. So. Lion, Wish, and the Wardrobe for Turkish Delight. Last time, I did better at the Tim Tim Slam than Jay did. So, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? You went first last I'll time. Go. Or did I? I don't remember. Here, you can go first. No, you can go. Right. Oh, I think. Oh, no, give me. Just give me the thing. No, give me the tray. So, Renee is going to go first for 10 10 Slam. And yes, we're doing this live again. Oh, what? Oh, it's nasty. It's nasty. <laughs> for, for real. Ew. I don't like that. Really? Mmm. Mmm. Ew. Mmm. 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 Okay. Lisa, thank you so much for sending those. But it is not for me. Mmm. Why does that taste like? Okay, 
I'm not trying to be funny. But <laughs> one takes like cleaning supply a little bit. A cl- uh, like cleaning fluid? Like I'm trying to think. It tastes almost like either some kind of medicine. Ugh. What is that taste? It is. It's, I feel like I. It's it, it's like something you shouldn't like did like dishwashing liquid maybe. Yes. Yes. It tastes like you would think dishwashing liquid would taste. Oh, it tastes like the bubbles. Yeah. So don't try to Turkish delight Tim Tams. That's my okay. recommendation. Oh, that's for Nathan's recommendation. That's, yeah, th- yeah, it's my personal recommendation. I say try it. Ugh. See if you like it. What? All right, I have to see what is in Turkish Delight. All right. It's a Turkish Delight. Gonna... While you look it up on the package, I'm going to look on the internet. <laughs> really? Really? All right, so Turkish Delight. A locum. Okay. Um... It is chopped dates, pistachios, hazelnuts, or walnuts bound by the gel. Oh, so premium varieties consist of this. Well, well, this doesn't help at all. Oh, it's generally flavored with rose water, mastic. Uh, roses, I can. Rose yes. water, mastic, yeah. ber- bergot, bergamot, oranges, or lemon. The confection is often packaged and eaten in small cubes, dusted mm. with icy sugar, uh, or paddled tartar. Yeah, this is this package th- doesn't help as Turkish delight flavored filling, so that <laughs> doesn't help much. But ew. Um, I Soap hope the third water. one will be better. It's called I ugh, gross. Roses taste like soap. Punk Gopher said. So, yes, I guess that's why we think it tastes like soap because roses taste like soap. Oh, really? So rose, so the rose water is making it taste soapy. Okay. Um, Thanks, Pump Gopher. Yeah, not so great. Um, so yeah, that's the try this for today. <laughs> Hopefully, the next Tim Tam Slam will be a better, and I, and I and I think it'll be a better Tim Tam Slam. And you time. don't like dark chocolate. And I don't like dark chocolate. So that was different. I mean, how often? But you do realize that the Turkish delight. It's not widely available here in the United States, so this is true. Excuse me, we got to di- we did get to try a taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and I'm and I'm so happy that Lita sent them. Oh, I know you it, are. It, it it doesn't make sense for me to say ooh the gross. Thank you, Lita, for sending them. But I I do because I got to try it and say I no I do not like Turkish <laughs> Delight Tim Tam. At first I was like ooh this sounds like it could be good. No. Yeah. No no no. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty damn. Funny. It sounds so good, and yeah. I was expecting it, and I was like. <laughs> so, my face crumbled. Yep. So I told him about the tostadas and everything. And oh, I, I talked. I pretty good. much talked about everything. So okay, good. So that's food. So do Ta-da. you want to? Um, but um, I do want to. I'm not sure if I did this last week, but I want to publicly thank Punk Gopher mm-hmm. for hooking us up with some Dorothy Lynch from Nebraska. Yes. So thank you, and we'll, I can't wait to try it. Yeah, we'll be trying. Well, Renee will be trying it. Um, for the first time. For the first time. Um, but. I will say, Punk and Gopher, I kind of cracked it open. I had some with some cucumbers mm. for a snack. The fat-free one. And, oh, I, just, I just belched Turkish Delight. It's oh. even worth coming back up. And let me say this also. Our hot chocolate was made with almond milk. It's, okay, regular milk sweeter. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense because of who you are. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> okay, Miss Vegetables and Sugar. Okay. When you say that, people are going to think I thoroughly sprinkle my vegetables with sugar, which I do not do, by the way. Um, just enough to make it sweet, though, right? Slightly <laughs> sweet. Just just not even where not even where you can tell it's sweet. Right, right. But, but it tastes just awesome. Right. Anyway, so yeah, so uh, food. That's great. So now. <laughs> I wish my mouse clicked louder so you know that I clicked a second or two and then you or you could just wait for me to be quiet well I did I did wait for you to be quiet but there's a second 
and then you're like, <laughs> Jay's playing it. I gotta play it. I got. I gotta say it. No, I. Know. <laughs> what? Why would I start talking if you're playing the bumper? Because. Because. Anyway, thank you, Johnny Feisty, for our odds and ends bumper. Yep. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, we have some birthdays. Birthdays. Birthday. Birthday. We to... got some birthdays. And none of them are in the chat room, so we don't get to sing happy birthday to anyone. But today's birthday, we have April Ness. Yay, April. April. She's she, she's Viking last, for she, those of y'all who don't know. Right. She is Viking last. Um, so her birthday is today. And Rockulus's birthday is also today. Yep. We've known him for a long, long time. That is correct. Uh, from WoW. Mm-hmm. And on Friday is my little sister's friend, Teresa's birthday. And I've known her since she was in elementary school. Right. What was that sound? What are you talking about? Sound. Okay. Well, and then on Friday, no, 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 no. it's also. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So it's her birthday. So I want to say hi, happy birthday, TT. Happy birthday, TT. And then also our good friend, Tony Butt. Mm-hmm. Yes, from the Butt family up in Indianapolis. <laughs> um, happy birthday to <laughs> happy him. Happy birthday, Tony. Yep. And then on Sunday, whose birthday is that? On Sunday? Oh, on Sunday. <laughs> I can't do this for that. What Sunday uh, is it is Heather's birthday on Sunday. Right. I don't want to say her last name because maybe she might not. Okay. Out there. So happy birthday, Heather. And Yay. who's that we have on the line with the traffic in the background? Oh. Hello, Valentine's. I apologize for that. <laughs> no. I thought it was like some sound effect that Jay had. I was like, what's he doing? Put like wind or something? I was like, what is going? On? <laughs> what is going on, Hando? Because that's hey, something guys. he would do. I have my balcony door open, and it's very hot today in Boston, so, uh, you know, got to keep the airflow going. Hey, hey I um, understand. I love Boston. Yeah, we, we're going to have to go up there sometime. I've been oh, there once. And in the springtime, it's so it. great. Yep. I actually went up there in the spring last summer. Yeah, it was good. Last mm. summer? Slash. Oh, <laughs> I was like, last summer you were, you were up there. <laughs> yeah, do that time when I said, you know, I was going to go with my family. You was going to yeah, Nertaka? I was really going okay. to Boston. Okay. So, so what, what's, what's going down? Hey, uh, let me ask you guys something. What are you guys using for headphones? Um, I am using um, JVC um, stereo, just regular stereo headphones. And mm. Renee okay. is using, um, I think, AK. Um, I believe we bought those from Guitar. AKG. Yeah, AKG. We bought K44 those. K44. K44. Mm. We bought those from um, Guitar Center. Well, let me uh, make a recommendation here of something that I stumbled upon while I was out shopping. Uh-huh. Uh, there's a wholesale club here called BJ's, and it's basically a clone <laughs> of uh, Costco. BJ's. Yeah, BJ's, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I noticed that they have some very impressive noise-canceling headphones made by a company called Able Planet. And uh, for 40 bucks, man, these things are impressive. You put them on, you hit the noise cancellation, you could be standing out in big city traffic, and it's almost dead quiet. Ooh, I like that. So uh, that's a you know, little recommendation for anybody that wants to pick up some good headphones or you know, any fledgling podcasters out there. You know, just a little recommendation. That's awesome. Huh. Cool. Actually, oh, wow. Oh, oh, Hando, th- you just made Jay spend money just by doing No, that. I'm just looking at um, <laughs> Costco. They actually do... Um, like digital amplifiers for for folks that need hearing aids. Oh, that's nice. Because Costco sells them. Oh yeah, the personal sound in air amplifier. They do. Huh? They're and 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 they got an award from Popular Science. Interesting. So, what kind did you get? Did you get the over the ear or in ear? Oh, these are um, over the ear, like you know, full enclosure type things. Okay. Hmm. So they do. Oh, and uh, also one one more thing, uh, Renee. You said you you uh, like to do a little bit of the sugar on the vegetables. Yes. I have a trick for you. What's that? You take vitamin C, powdered vitamin C, and you sprinkle just a little bit of the vitamin C on there, and it and actually does sort of the same thing as sugar, and it's you know not as detrimental as sugar. Really? Well, yes, Renee. I, mm-hmm. I use Splenda, which people say causes cancer. I'm sure but she's, I don't, I'm but sure I don't she's uh, restrained in her sugar use. Yes, yes she is. Yes, yes she I am. Is. Um, so, so vitamin C does it? Do, <laughs> this is a dumb question. Does it have an orange taste to it? Such no, dumb no. It's, it's, in fact, if you were to actually like take a dip of it and put it on your tongue, it's very, very sour. And I used to suck on them like candies when I was a kid because I like sour things. Okay. But 
just a little, just a pinch, a little bit on on a fruit, and uh, it's it's nearly undetectable, and it gives it like a, it kind of gives it more of a, uh, like a fresher flavor. Interesting. See, I never thought of that. So, what, what can you? <clears throat> what can I get vitamin? This, where where can I? I bet get, you we can get it anywhere. Where can? Oh, GNC. I, um, you know, any kind of pharmacy, I, any, I any place that sells, you know, like uh, vitamins. Okay, I, I can't go into GNC. They look, yes. they look at me funny. They be like, "Why are you in here, fat boy?" I be like, <laughs> "I be like, what?" Come on. They'll be ready Jay. to punch somebody in the neck, hey, but you know they I all built to, and everything, so they won't have a neck. I used to work at GNC, and uh, and you know when it, when someone would come in and you know they want to start like a health, you know, like a thing, they want to start a program. Those were always some of the best sales. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. So, oh, so they'd be like, oh, so they'd probably be like, come on in. Yeah, would, wait, let, well, let's get you started on a program. Oh, you want to buy a card? It's only it'll get twenty percent um, off today. Oh man, I remember that. See, that was a terrible job. Yeah, I actually bought some stuff from GNC. I bought protein powder and vitamins. Oh, you had the whey powder, whey protein, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I put it in smoothies, and because that was that, that was when I had guns and I was doing lifting and stuff. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Those were the days. <laughs> but, yeah, so GNC, yeah, they oh, will cool. take all your money. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, cool, man. Well, thanks for calling in. Thank you. All right, Valentine's. Have a good night. Right, Same you to you. Bye. Stay cool. Bye-bye. Stay cool. Yeah, What's man, because it's hot. He said he had his patio door open because <laughs> it's hot. Hell, I know how it is when it's hot. I know how it is when it's hot. I, I think I get a little bit more touchy than you do I mean, everybody's not like your family that likes it okay that's daniel and kimberly Super so hot. i wanted to talk about G- jenny ronk oh yeah that no, is right you can get the music going well G- jenny I'm- ronk is a plus size model uh that was hired by h&m and uh not only was she hired by them but she wrote an essay about it and it's it's very well written and yep. uh, I'm gonna have it in the show notes. Right. And uh, it's so funny that she's that she's she's considered plus size. She's size 14. Right. I'm, you know, I'm close to a size 14. So well, maybe like a 10, eight or 10, babe. If I gained 15 pounds, I'd probably be 14 again. But anyway, the point is, is that she's gorgeous. Her she's fit average to her, us. She's average size. Yeah, she's average size. I think she's so pretty. Yep. Her body is no, is normal, normal, normal proportions. Right. And uh, yeah, so go Jenny Runk. I followed her on Twitter, even oh, yeah. though she doesn't know how to use it that well. But so, I'm so following. Who her. told you about this essay? Um, Megan, I think. Maggie. Really? I think Maggie saw. Really? Oh, Jay did. Really? Jay. Hey. You see what kind of credit I get up in here? <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. Why, why you sorry. say her? Because she usually posts things like that. So I was like, I probably got it from her. I, I post inspirational things that make thank, you think. Thank you, Jay, for posting about Jenny Runk. I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah. And uh, also, just a quick note, the Dalai Lama's in Louisville. What's up, Dalai Lama? He's, and he's basically, his, his message is... Don't be a dick is his message. I mean, he doesn't say that, but that's pretty much what he's yeah. saying. Don't be a dick. That's all. That's what everything's about. Right. Treat, treat, treat everybody nice. That is is right. it? Is it that hard, Jay? I don't think it's that Not hard. Not that hard. So, if you <clears> all <throat> want to contact us, you can do so by email at thevalentinecast at gmail.com. That is the valentinecast at gmail.com. You can see our blog at valentinecast.com. Our podcast Twitter feed is Valentine Cast. Also, if you want, head over to iTunes. Leave us a review. We check them every now and then. You our, know. Yeah. So, and, oh. But yeah. If you want to go to our Facebook page, you can go to facebook.com slash Valentine Cast. If you want to call us like uh, Hando did. Is that Hando? Yeah. Like yep. Hando did. Yes, it was Hando. <laughs> 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 See, she forgot that quick. Yeah, don't even ask. Uh, you can call us at 415-758-2278. Now, that's, that's for voicemail. Well, okay, if you want to call us during live shows, you can Skype Jay 
at Labozkek. How you spell it? L A B O Z Q E C. You win a million dollars. Yeah, I can, I can quit work. <laughs> Uh, and if you want to leave us a voicemail and we'll play it on the show if it's, you know, okay to play, uh, 415-758-2278. That's 415-75-BCAST. And if you want to see video of our exploits, you can go to youtube.com slash valentinecast. And if you want to tweet Jay and tell him how handsome he is, uh, his Twitter feed is the cowboy. That's T-H-E-C-A-O. B O I, and if you want to tweet me and laugh at me for forgetting everything, you can tweet me at the ice flow. Yeah, what do you think about that, homeboy? Homeboy. What do you think about that? <laughs> what was that from? Huh? Where, where is it from? The what homeboy. Oh. Hello. Uh, oh. Is your refrigerator is is your refrigerator running? <laughs> no, not yet. But oh, you better go catch it. <laughs> 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 hey, J K. Grandma. Yeah. Did you just call him or did he call? I called him. So you just called him and played a joke on him? I did. Is he even in the chat room today? It's not like he was listening. Oh. He's just being silent. He's one of those silent listeners. No, I think he was listening. Oh, there he is. He missed us. (laughs) JK, you act like you don't know when, when, when we start the show. He works hard. He He works hard for the money. So hard for you, honey. Works hard for, for the, the money, money and you better treat her right. Oh. I don't treat her right. Well, it's a woman's song. So you I don't better know treat him right. How's that? <laughs> Let me call him back, man. <laughs> Are you still recording? I stopped. Yes. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> I was like I'm scared now. I said, I said, I said, I said, oh, JK locked in. Oh, I want to get him. Ask him if the refrigerator running. Do like people still do that? Do people know. still ask people if their refrigerator's running? I got scared a long time ago whenever call uh, caller ID came into play. I was like, I can't do that anymore because people know who I am. This I know that. True. See, that's the funny thing with Skype because you know who's calling. Yeah. <laughs> like, what Jay? Refrigerator <laughs> running? <laughs> no. Know. <laughs> well, I, cha- I changed my uh, Skype setting the other day. Did you see what I put? Um, give me that die. Because <laughs> well, yours says give me them dice. Yeah, oh, that's just that's right. <laughs> I don't know what that's uh, uh, Give me them dice. Give me that die. That's give me that awesome. die. I don't what, know what that was from. Give me that, I was like, hey, give me that. Yep, yeah, cool, man. That's awesome, <laughs> dude. Okay, so I'm looking at your um your 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 picture here. Yeah. And it says Ten Forward Podcast. Yeah, that's the that's the, the actual podcast, but I just put everything under that just because it's easier. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. I, how do I not know about Ten Forward Podcast? That's what, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, probably because it's just me and a couple of buddies just recording every, well, we try to do it every Sunday. How come you didn't ever I, tell us about this? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah, no, you know what? It's It's one of those things. It's like, I don't want to, I don't want to put that off on people like, oh, hey, you know, Help you know? Okay, help pro- you. Okay, check oh, this out. Uh, okay, check this out. <laughs> you know who we are. Yeah. I, I mean, if if I'm too busy to listen, everybody knows. I I let everybody know. I mean, but I like to. If you guys look, 24 episodes. So y'all been doing this for 24 weeks, and, and you, you ain't even said, said a shit. Thing. You didn't even what? mention it in passing. Hey guys, gotta go. I gotta go start planning for my podcast. And we'll be like, oh, cool. I, mean, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta I gotta be your friend on Skype and see this. Yeah, well, you know, I didn't want to, yeah, no, I understand, but I didn't want to be like, it's the same thing Well, I've never mentioned it on any of the Frog Pants stuff. I'm like, no, I don't want to be like, oh, hey, check this out. I'm just, I just want to be a listener and then, you know, because I don't, you know, I don't even know okay, if we have any listeners. Do you know how often we mention our podcast pretty darn often? Well, well, here, 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 well here's the thing with the, you're not sure if anybody listening. I mean, I, I've said this to... Plenty of people I've talked to about podcasts, and, and, and we are live, by the way, still. You probably see oh, okay. <laughs> so now everybody knows. Now everybody's listening. <laughs> I mean, oh, okay. um, the one thing, uh, oh, but we're not doing it, sh- oh, but, yeah. but anyway, yeah, yeah. the one thing that I tell every podcaster, I mean, Aaron from Black Astronauts and m- other folks have, I've told this plenty of times, do it, because Aprilian told us this from Control Out Wow mm-hmm. and Jeppy. Do it to have fun. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If 
you know, if it's one listener and you guys are still having fun, if it's a thou hundred thousand listeners. If it's no listeners. And if it's no listeners. Even. I mean, you're hanging out with a couple of buddies and you guys are just, you know, talking to talk. Yeah, and that's how I look at it. Yeah. Yeah, and you'll like be surprised at how many f- people you get that listen. You're like, how the heck did you find out about my podcast? That's kind of how it is with me. Right. So, um, yeah, just keep having fun with it. If I stop having fun doing this, I'm gonna stop. Right. Because I don't want to do it. Right. If it ever gets to be like a job, forget it. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm not. Right. Gonna do I mean, that. we're not. For us, I mean, we love our jobs. Um, if I wouldn't want to personally, I wouldn't want to depend on podcasting personally because right. I am a person that I need to know what's coming in. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I I never could, I, I never could do a commission job. I never could do a sales job. A serving job you wouldn't like I, either. Um, you don't know what's coming in with a serving job. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've like gone home with like seven dollars before. Yeah. So. No, I couldn't do a serving job. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the I think the one day that I end up getting seven bucks, I'd be like, I gotta go to McDonald's. <laughs> I, I couldn't went to McDonald's and made more than this, you know. But then that's offset by the days you make one hundred and twenty bucks. So yeah. yeah but that? then that's when you build up your kitty. Yeah, okay. that's that's yeah. that that's what you do. Yeah. You don't blow all one hundred and twenty dollars at once. Unless you go on. On hookers and on hookers and blow. Hookers and blow. Hookers and blow. Yeah. Hookers and blow. <laughs> That's the name of my new autobiography. <laughs> hookers and blow. Hey, um, just real quick, chat room. Uh, thank you all for hanging out thanks with everyone. us. Thanks, everyone. Hando, thanks for calling in. Uh, um, Aaron, thanks for calling in and hanging in. I know, not sure what was going on with um Twitch today. It was just really dumb. So, I don't know if it's Louisville side, but I'm gonna cut the feed. You all have a nice week. We we'll talk Bye, to you later. Everybody.